Good morning. It is the day that we go to Green Island. The weather is not looking the best. It's been like raining overnight, raining a bit this morning, quite windy and overcast, but hopefully it will brighten up. I'm sure we'll still have a great day. Anyway, we have to leave in like 10 minutes or so. I have a shower, even though I'm sure my hair's gonna get wet and stuff later anyway, but there we go. Just having this little Chobani passion fruit Greek yogurt for breakfast. Gonna get our like bag packed up and then head off to the wharf. And we're just about to go on board of our boat to Green Island. been sat on the boat for a little bit because it was absolutely chucking it down you can probably see the massive rain cloud behind me it's so windy so again apologies if you cannot hear me i was incredibly seasick on the boat um, but i'm feeling a bit better now it was really really choppy so definitely feeling a bit concerned before when we head back but yeah we're just walking along this jetty over to the island to have a little explore So we're just on the beach, it's still very windy, so ignore my crazy hair. Have actually now finally got a bit of blue skies behind us. Behind me though, you can see all of the rain. But yeah, this beach is so cool. This is like the only lifeguard beach on the whole of the island. And these little like bits on the sand here, there's all like bits of coral and shell that have washed up. So that's been really cool looking at those. Obviously like can't take them or anything. Um, but yeah, glad it's brightened up just having a little explore I think we're gonna maybe go in the sea a little bit later we've still got like I don't know four hours of time here before we have to go back to the boat anyway we just had a little bit of lunch we just shared some hot chips because yeah I was feeling a bit better after feeling seasick on the boat I now look like a pale egg and we are walking up to the national park but down there is the beach that we went to just before lunch loads of like little quail birds around that are not afraid of people there was a girl in the food court who had food literally taken out of her hand by one but quite sorry for her actually um there's also like a crocodile park thing on the island which is just coming up to now but we're not going to do we're just going to have a little explore but yeah that's something extra if you do visit secluded here it's lovely and it's also lovely now the sun's out so like the sea is definitely lapping at my feet but there's two beach just goes on for ages hi hello you're like blending in with your green t-shirt 
I'll wear green back. <laughs> It is so windy and probably so loud, but how incredible is this? It's so shallow here. You probably can see like in the horizon, like the actual breaching of the waves to like the open ocean, but th this is actually wild. slightly less windy here although I look so windswept walking around that like tip of the island there was crazy but the sun is fully out it is baking when you're out of the wind and we're just walking across all of these like rocks here trying to not fall over we've seen hermit crabs sea slugs we've seen giant clam shells loads of shells and bits of coral and stuff like lots of interesting birds it's just yeah it's just crazy like this is definitely one of the best places i've ever been to in my life so out the water the tide has gone drastically out since we got here but we're about to go and see what we can see in the water Well, quite a bit of time has passed. We went in the water and then it chucked it down again and got soaked, but I'm now bone dry again because it's bright blue skies. Saw loads and loads and loads of starfish, some other little fish when we were paddling around. And then we walked back out onto the jetty and we saw some really massive, massive, colourful fish. If I can find like what fish it was on the internet I'll pop up the name or something or a picture of it on screen but there's no way the camera would have ever have picked it up but they were yeah huge and colourful and just looked like something from a movie. Saw a big ray, saw some other fish again not really sure exactly what they were but we're now just walking through this little like rainforesty bit. We've got just under an hour or so before we need to head back to the boat. Um, so yeah, let's have a little explore of this side of the island. Um, and we're going to get back on the boat a little bit early because we're going to do a fish feeding at half past three, which sounds really interesting. heading back to the boat along the jetty we're going to see if we can spot any more sea life as we head off to the boat now in a totally different part of Queensland but actually now in Townsville um went to Green Island yesterday and just thought I would wrap up that video here we had a fantastic day aside from being so 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 seasick on the way it was so windy so choppy it was like horrendous um I was totally fine on the way back 
which was great and it didn't like spoil my day. I felt like basically fine once we'd got on land, but I would highly, highly recommend visiting Green Island to anyone. Um, you can do snorkeling there. You can do like glass bottom boat tour, submersibles. You can just swim, go for nice walks. There's like eateries and loads of stuff. Really enjoyed like walking through all the boardwalk and then out to the beach because it was low tide and we could see out like super, super far. Saw loads of wildlife, birds, fish, starfish, some crazy colourful fish. Tim definitely saw a couple of sharks as well, which was pretty cool. You can see like turtles and stuff as well. Oh, and we did also get rained on quite a bit, but then within like 10 minutes of it stopping raining, my t-shirt was bone dry because it got really, really sunny again. But yeah, had an absolutely amazing day. It was one of Tim's like birthday presents, like indirectly from his parents. So if you're watching this, thanks very much. We had a great time. And then we just finished off the evening, came back, we went to Muddy's again for dinner. I had this like pork bun thing. Uh, we went to the night markets and then we went back to our hostel. And then yeah, today got the train to Townsville. So if you've got any questions about the day at Green Island or anything, then let me know if you've ever been before. Let me know what you got up to and what you thought of it. But otherwise, my next vlog you will be seeing will be the train journey to Townsville and probably our first like whole day here because six hours of the day was just spent on a train but yeah sorry enough of me rambling on thanks for watching don't forget to give the video a big thumbs up if you did like it leave a comment and i will see you again very soon for another vlog